What up, it's your boy Slim Thugger. Power Wow, baby, Slab God. Hey, man, right now you're watching Watch Loud. Uh, on WatchLoud.com. Me personally, I met him a couple times. Like I didn't, I didn't, you know, have no real relationship with him like that before he passed. It was just, you know, I met him a couple times because I was just getting started. It was, you know, in uh, early '90s. I started rapping in, in like nine, eight. I was 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, at just when I was getting my career kicked off, is you know, is when he passed. So, you know, I met him a couple times, and I got on. I did do um, uh, some on one of his albums. So, you know, we got to work together, so it was a beautiful thing, man. Pretty much the same for me. You know, I was the same age, Slim. So I met him a few times here, and he was somebody I, we always looked up to just because of what he was doing. You know, and also at the time, man, in, in hip-hop and music, you know, coming from Houston, if you want to turn, you listen to hip-hop, there's, you know, the radio or TV, basically. You know, you know, radio was all about playing mostly West Coast music because it was West Coast formatted for whatever reason. TV was mostly East Coast videos. We never would hear anybody or see anybody from Texas or where we from on the radio or on TV. So the screw tapes was how we would, you know, hear our local rappers. And those were always the best. You know, in Texas, we always brought up that, you know, Texas is better than everybody else. You know, we better in Texas. You know, we just got that Texas sense of pride that we just taught, you know, since since childhood and school. They teach you Texas history. Just, you know, just all that, that sense of Texas pride is, is just instilled into you. So, you know, we want to see our rappers, you know, or people from where we from, you know, talking about what we talk about, uh, you know, talking about our lifestyle. Because a lot of what we were hearing, this before the internet days, you didn't have Instagram to, or you didn't have Google search to look up with somebody talking mm -hmm. about what does this mean or this and that. You know, we don't know. So when you hear rappers from the East Coast or the West Coast, they really basically were speaking a different language a lot of times in the language we speak. Definitely we were speaking a different language than everyone else because the slang and everything, everything else, you know what I'm saying? So DJ Screw kind of, he gave an avenue for everybody in Texas basically to, you know what I'm saying, to, to listen as fans also to, uh, you know, to, to feed our hunger for hip hop or hunger for for, uh, for that, so you know, every time we would, all, we always looked up to Screw as kids and stuff. So anytime we met him, it was always things like that. Like man, we trying to get an autograph or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm just a lot of the, a lot of the Houston culture is based on what Screw did and how that and that era of time. Like I know it's hard for people out of town to understand, but you know the sip and serve thing. It, it was uh, uh some that you know that they wrapped it by first. You know, before anybody, early 90s, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about this. They had the chop the screw tapes. They created that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, DJ Screw is the is is like a king, you know what I'm saying, in, in Texas. Like, you know, higher than, uh, you know, than anybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, everybody salute him like he's yeah. a god out there, man, you yeah, know, he, so. Not only that, too, he, like, with the music, too, he created something where, uh, not only he created a style of music, the slow down style and the chopped up style, but also he created with people would come in there and freestyle on the tapes. He right. gave, and he gave every rapper that came in there with freestyle on the tapes had a, from that point on had a rap career. You know, basically, and and then and then that whole style it just transcended. You know, further on, me and Slim, we like a product of that. You know, what I'm saying because yeah. we was a generation that was raised on listening to that. So you know, we wanted to do the same type of thing. So you know, we did our thing with the Swisher House, and uh, you know, but it was all because of Screw. Screw gave that to the whole city of Houston, to the state of Texas, to all of us. You know, kind of like started his own genre of music. Yeah, you know, what yeah. I'm saying, and like, he was all about showing love to people. He was all about giving people love. He wasn't never on no plex or no beef, nothing like that. He was all about giving artists a chance, and especially people who wanted a chance. You know, that's what he was all about. He was bringing people together. You know, that's where you see a lot of the unity to this day. You know, in Houston is because of what what DJ Screw did, also what Jay Prince did. Jay Prince, same way, he all about bringing people together and bringing the city together. You know, what I'm saying, and that's why you see us do that.